My name's Dan Sodegren, and I'm 42. Smells delicious, give me some chicken, my friend. I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at the end of last year. Love this food, love it. Look at this, it looks amazing. This chicken is healthy, but I used to eat far too much of this. It's absolutely delicious. And far too much of other things, like takeaways, like doner kebabs and burgers, and loads of other unhealthy things. It was a real shock for me getting diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I, I know I hadn't been eating particularly well, but in reality, I wasn't really that old. I was quite young and I knew the complications that would come with it. So it was a real shock. I was really worried. So the body doesn't produce enough insulin to break down sugar in the blood. Too much sugar leads to heart disease, stroke, blindness, and even leg amputations. It's horrible, really horrible. So there are two types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes normally starts in childhood. It's all to do with the pancreas not working properly and not producing enough insulin. Type 2 diabetes, which is the one that I was diagnosed with, that normally starts in adulthood and is brought on by bad lifestyle and poor lifestyle choices. But the thing I was shocked about is that ethnic minorities are up to six times more likely to get type 2 diabetes than white Europeans. Hi, I'm Dan. Hello, I'm Sudesna. Why is it that people from uh, ethnic minorities are more affected by this disease and condition? People from an ethnic minority tend to store fat more around their middles and it's when you have fat around your organs, um, your liver, um, your pancreas, your gut, um, there seems to be a change in the way that the fat is processed in ethnic minorities compared to white Europeans. Well, it was really interesting what she told me about how ethnic minorities store fat in a different way because I didn't realise that actually I could be not that overweight at all, but because I'm from a certain background, I'm much more likely to get type 2 diabetes. Push all the way forward with that leg, if it will, just do I'm a bit nervous because I'm about to do something I've never done before. So, ta-da, pretty stylish, huh? Wish me luck. I can't reach my toes. This class is for people who are at risk of getting type 2 diabetes or who have already got it. So I've now got type 2 diabetes, how could I have prevented it? Most importantly, it's looking at what you're eating and how much activity you're doing. But the key thing is that it is preventable. Yes, so being more physically active, trying to reduce your body weight, trying to do more physical activity in the day can make a significant difference. So if you can, Dan, remember to breathe. I'm not very good at yoga, but there's other things that I can do. And there's things we can all do that to prevent getting type 2 diabetes. And for me personally, I know there's things that I can do to be free of type 2 diabetes, and that's really encouraging. Yeah.